Ew, what? Of course he came home. No, 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 no. Okay, just drive away. Just drive away. Oh, what do you mean, hot wire? Come on, the cops are gonna get drive, drive. No, they blocked me and ram them. Ram them. Oh, come on. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Thief Simulator. And to start off today's episode, we're going to be fixing one of the biggest problems that I've had with this game, in that I can only put one thing in the back of my car. You guys can see there's tons of space back here, but every time I leave a job, I have to leave behind all of these high-end electronics, like TVs and stereos and speakers or antiques or art or like all these big items that I want to steal because they're worth a ton of money, but I can't because my car is stupid. <laughs> so we're gonna be investing in the van. Probably one of the biggest purchases available in the game. Can I take a look? I can. $35,000, I better be able to look inside. It's got a cup holder. My car doesn't have a cup holder. I can steal cups now. <laughs> I'm honestly amazed that he only wants $35,000 for this thing. Like, look at it. And considering how overpriced everything is in this game, he could easily want, like, two million dollars. I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised. Probably shouldn't give him ideas, though, so I'm just gonna buy it now. <laughs> hey, Igor, do you got paperwork for this thing? Of course you don't have paperwork for it. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! This thing is, like, ten times faster than the car. Why? It's a boat! It should not be this agile. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, yeah, right there. Perfect. We just got it. I don't want to scratch up the paint. I decided to come back to the poor end of town where security is just a little bit more forgiving because I want to see if we can fill this thing up. There's lots of art and TV and speakers and stuff hanging around. We already got a bush. We're well ahead of the game. You go about your evening, sir, okay? I'm not doing anything sketchy. I'm just, uh, you know, picking through people's garbage. That's less sketchy than robbing people, right? Why do I care? He's gone. Now, I don't suppose Mr. Jones is just hanging out here watching his TV. Oh, no, he is. He's right there. Okay. Well, this is fine, right? We see him. We can just wait this out. He'll get tired of what he's watching, and then he'll go to bed. Any day now, Mr. Jones, that van isn't gonna fill itself. There we go. He was, whoa, what? He was just staring at the wall. I already stole his TV. Oh, come on. I've already wasted an hour just standing here. <laughs> on to the neighbors. I'm guessing the insurance company these guys went with they're getting kind of pissed at the fact that they keep replacing things and the thing gets stolen the next day because I'm pretty sure I stole half a dozen TVs from him, but uh, no more. Ooh, see a piece of art. Art'll work, right? We used to only be able to take one piece of art, max, even if it's nice and flat and stackable. So we're just gonna walk in here, grab you, be on our way. Nice and easy. I also leveled up a skill that lets me run faster with big items, so that's gonna come in very handy. <laughs> Item number one, how is this gonna go? Apparently gonna go through the doors. What's the point of back doors? <laughs> okay, well, good start. Look at me learning. I'm actually gonna close the door this time so that if she comes upstairs, she won't realize that she's being robbed. So I don't want to go down there where she is, but up here, we might find more art. That's nice. Oh, that would look great hanging over my couch bed. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah, we got another piece of art. Good. So maybe I can throw all this stuff off of the deck and a speaker and another piece of art. It's my lucky day. We're going to be able to fill the whole van from this place. So I'm just going to pile it all down there. It's fine, okay, Igor likes things a little damaged. Maybe not like this much damaged, but uh, it, it, it's fine, don't worry about it. How is some of this art worth like $13? I almost just hit her with that. <laughs> she was like, hmm, that's weird. All my things are on the lawn. Oh well, I gotta disappear. Not sure how long it'll be until she comes home, but if I have a little time, I might as well 
look around, she left her own front door open. Even I didn't do that. Hey, here we go. Okay, we got one more. Anything else of interest? Anything else big down here? No, I think that's it. So we got five pieces of art and a speaker. If I can fit all of that into the van, I'm going to be amazed. <laughs> Even two things is an improvement. I'm just going to have to run across the street. Uh, should I bring the van over? I should probably bring the van over. We're just going to pop that through the van. It worked. Oh my god, they stack. Game of the year. I'm probably not going to show you guys my struggle. Because this took like an hour and a half of screwing around to figure out. But I think I finally got it under wraps. Apparently, I could put three big items and five small items in the back of the van. Big items being speakers, big screen TVs, that kind of thing. Small items being paintings or small TVs. Surprisingly enough, why I can't put like 20 or 30 small items in the back of the van and just stack it to the roof, I don't know. I guess it's because legally I need to be able to see through the rear view window and I'm a law abiding citizen. <laughs> but it just took so long to figure this out that, uh, hello, can I help you? You didn't hear any of that, okay? You just go along your way. Did you want to buy a love painting? Because I, I kind of can't take it with me. Already got five small items. Good enough, okay? We got a lot of stuff in our van, and Vinny wants me to learn car stealing level two. Let's do that. Car stealing level two? Remove alarms from cars. That's exciting. Uh, I, I did it, Vinny. You got anything you else you want me to do? Hello? I don't know what Vinny's problem is. Wait, what? <gasps> Vinny can only call me on my cell phone when I'm home? How does that work? There's a car on 201, and it's got something inside that belongs to us. Go bring it in. Go bring what in? The car? Or the thing inside the car? And 201 what? 201 Poorville or 201 Rich Street? You need to be specific, Vinny, or I'm gonna end up in the wrong goddamn house again. <laughs> I came home because I wanted to see if there was anything interesting that I can buy. I still have $16,000. I'm rolling in money now. Wouldn't mind getting binoculars, but uh, I need appraisal level three. Okay. Night vision goggles. Okay. I'm now the Sam Fisher of Thief Simulator. <laughs> Since we now have the money, how about we invest a little bit and buy some house security tips for 201. The switch to open the gate is in the kitchen. That is very important if we're going to try to drive away with a car. I'm happy I spent that money. And now, I would assume there are a bunch more car part listings on Black Bay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. You guys were really helpful in the comments of last episode telling me that I'm not doing anything wrong. No, I took all of the parts out of the truck, and I can only sell like three or four of them. The other like 30 plus are just hanging out in that locker, and the developers have said there's nothing you could do with them yet. The game's still being developed. And the rest of the car won't disappear. It'll go back out in my little outdoor storage area once we steal a new car, which is what we're about to do. Hopefully. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how to stop a car alarm from going off, and I definitely don't want to get into a high-speed chase against the cops. They're crazy. They even updated the game so that you don't have to go and get all of the items out of the back of the van and bring them in one at a time. Instead, you could just sell them directly to Igor. He'll go get them. Igor, you're so good at customer service. So this is 201. I'm not in the wrong place. I'm not losing my mind. And I did go back and upgrade my appraisal and my agility and a bunch of random things. I had a bunch of points left over. So now I can use the binoculars to scope things out like their guard gnome. We now know where the guard gnome is. Very important. How are you doing? What are you looking at? Wait, what? Holding a thief's tool, the police were called high to run away. Wait, what? I'm, I'm not holding a thief's tool. It's binoculars. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm bird watching. <laughs> I wasn't staring at that chick's titties, I swear. Oh my God, you have to be kidding me. The people of this neighborhood are insane. 
I really want to complete this with an S rank, or at least as high a rank as possible, and I feel like my bird watching should not hinder that. So I went home, I slept it off, I parked my van someplace legal, because we're driving away with somebody else's car, and I've scoped the place out. I'm pretty sure that they should be leaving at 7 o'clock, and it's quarter to 7 now. So if everybody leaves, this should be quite a bit easier. I'm just going to hang out here by their front gate. Completely inconspicuous. Invisible, almost. I'm sure I'll find some way to pass the time. Excuse me, ma'am. Do Okay. Well, we definitely don't want to run into that. And there's another one down there that I spotted. This should allow me to mark it. I'm not holding thieving tools for the last damn time. Do you guys see this? Like, there are so many people in this end of town that I'm constantly being watched. <laughs> to the point where they're, like, tailgating each other. How how am I going to get through this gate? They're only gone for a few hours. Lovely evening for a walk. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm certainly not doing anything illegal. Are you doing something illegal? Because I know I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just uh, playing a little red light, green light in my front yard and... Bashing my guard gnomes for $1,700. Okay. I can do that. I, I, I can't get the ones under camera surveillance. What? There's one over here. Listen, man. It, it's nothing personal. There's a hit out on your name. I gotta do my job. The Keebler elves send their regards. <laughs> the cleanest hit ever performed. No witnesses. No witnesses. No witnesses. Nailed it. I know I technically don't have a lot of time, but I just can't resist taking like one or two little things, right? They wouldn't miss a receiver or like, uh, I don't know, an, an Xbox. An X cube console. Right, you gotta get the controllers if you're gonna get the console. And you can always check like one little drawer. Like it's an endless supply of riches. How do you resist? I I can't. I I really can't. I would imagine it's gonna take me a really long time to break this car out. I gotta open the car gate. There we go. Now we gotta find the garage that should be down here somewhere. I would imagine. Uh, you? No. Again, another kids' room. No kids. Freaking weird. Hello. Not quite what I had envisioned, but sure. So we're gonna open you up, and then I need to do something with this. Need to screw with the power supply? Oh, uh, Vinny, you didn't instruct me. Oh, I get it. I just need to click in the box. Got it. Got it. We're good. We're good. And then we're super nonchalant. Just gonna drill through this. Ew, what? Of course he came home. No, 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 no. Okay, just drive away. Just drive away. Oh, what do you mean, hot wire? Come on, the cops are gonna get drive, drive. No, they blocked me and rammed them. Ram them. Oh, come on. I should be able to ram the police. What kind of car thief am I? I refuse to believe that we don't have enough time to do this. There's definitely some way that I can get everything done, right? We're just gonna avoid the cameras. We're gonna smash that stupid gnome's head in. Again, nothing personal. Except for the old stupid comment. I'm gonna avoid the hack. You know what? The hack is taking way too long. We use the glass knife. Pay good money for this and it should work. There we go. That's so much faster. <laughs> now, electronics. I refuse to leave them behind, even if I have to glitch into the couch to do so. Take all of this. There we go. There's probably more. We're definitely going to come back at some point. But right now, I got to focus on the car. Okay, open that gate. Go down to the garage and everything lags like crazy. I hate running around in this game. It is not optimized. It's brutal how things just kind of freeze for a brief moment so that everything loads in. And we need to get this power supply. Okay, okay, there we go, good. How are we looking? 45 minutes. 45 minutes to hotwire the car. Can I do it? <laughs> and drive away. I think I can do it. I think we're fine. Hotwire a car in my sleep. In the dark. Uh, upside down. I still don't know what I'm doing when it comes to hotwiring the cars. I just push all the things and there we go. Go, go, don't hit a pedestrian for the love of God. <gasps> are you kidding me? I didn't hit him. Ah! I swear to God, I am this close to starting a fire before I leave and burning this house down. 
I know it's technically Thief Simulator and not Arsonist Simulator, but I'm willing to make an exception. Screw you, no. It's personal now. Uh, and, you know, if anything, we can look at it on the bright side. I technically got away with like half an hour to spare, so I can probably look around to see if there's anything else of interest worth stealing, like an antique violin. That's probably worth more than everything else I've stolen. It's probably worth more than the car. Okay, yeah, things are coming up positive. We can get our electronics again and probably glitch through the freaking coffee table. I still hate that so much. It drives me insane that that's a thing. My van would love to have you inside of it, but I did just don't think I can stretch that much. Laptop I can do. Okay, perfect. Uh, maybe a tea box? Is that an antique tea? No, it's an $8 tea box. Okay, we can leave their tea. We got the gate. There we go. Okay, now... All we need to do is hotwire the car, stop the alarm, then hotwire the car in that order, and then get out, and we're fine. We have 25 minutes to do it. Careful, careful, careful. There we go. 100% of the time, every time, nailed it. Now just drove through this. Somebody walking by should probably see this. This is a little, yo, know, a little, little sketchy. Okay, hot wear the car. We got nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Okay, go, 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 go. There better not be any pedestrians in my way. We're going off-roading. <laughs> Screw the road. We're gonna have to hit an exit eventually, right? That's what this thing was built for. Hopefully I don't hit anybody in the bushes out here. That'd be really upsetting. Oh, it's my van. <gasps> we did it. I think. Oh, thank God. S rank, right? Technically wasn't seen. Uh, uh, oh, that is the most undeserved S rank I have ever seen. So we got the car, we got the antique violin, bunch of other random stuff. Hey, Vinny. The best cars have electronic locks. You're gonna have to learn a new trick. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Car stealing level three. So we're gonna steal some more cars next episode, but for now, I should be able to put you... Yeah, there we go. So now you're out here, and you're just a rusty shell that I can leave. And now you're up on the blocks, and I can take you apart. Interesting. You look like under the hood. Probably pretty intense, I would imagine. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Something tells me Vinny is going to want us to spend $28,000 on a car key signal cloner. I have $20,000. How much do you suppose an antique violin might be worth? Four grand. Not bad. Not going to cut it, but uh, not bad. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And I'm willing to bet that if I break down this truck and I sell whatever parts I can online, I should have enough to be able to buy that car signal decoder and then steal something flashier and expensive and fast. So if you guys want to see that, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and maybe there'll be more Thief Sim soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>